Hello, I'm Robert Monroe Turner. In this tutorial video, I'll be demonstrating a technique that I've developed for placing a responsive logo image into your Dynamic Genesis website header. As you can see here, this logo image here, I made it a little bit large on intentionally so that I could better demonstrate the responsive properties of the logo image. Here you can see how the logo image is responding to the different widths of the website here. And you can see that the logo is indeed responsive and it's getting um, smaller as the width of the website gets smaller. So it's totally responsive and it looks really cool. And I'll show you how I set this up. To start off with, in the dynamic custom options, I place two remove actions, one for the Genesis site title, another for the Genesis site description. And I put those in there to remove the default Genesis site title area and the Genesis site description. I realized that the default site title and site description areas were interfering with the, the technique I set up. And they were causing problems so I removed them and I set it up with the PHP builder here under the remove action and right in this area here I chose the under the header area here the site title build actions PHP wrap code I copied this remove action for the Genesis site title I copied it into this hook box here and then I went back and I got rid of this here and I made another PA, uh, action here PHP remove action for the site description build actions PHP wrap code there I copied it and I pasted it and I pasted it right here in this area here I pasted it right here in the same hook box and it's in the Genesis doc type and I gave it the name remove title okay as you can see underneath here I have another hook box here that I've set up and I have put some HTML information here for the image the logo image and also for the site description here and I'll show you how I set that up okay to upload the responsive logo image I did not use the dynamic design options images function I used the standard WordPress media add new and here in the library you can see the responsive logo image it's a ping image and I'll provide a link for this image so you can download it and go through this technique for yourself okay so next I set up a page created a page I called it logo image and the reason I did this is so that I could add the picture into this page the logo image I'm going to click on it here to select it now if you want to be able to click on the logo image and it takes you to your home page then what you want to do is you want to go down here and under link to you want to you don't want it to link to the media file what you want to do is go to custom URL get rid of this get rid of this right here and type in forward slash index dot PHP and also you want to be sure that you're not selecting any of the thumbnails that you're using full size insert it into the image okay now so here we have the responsive logo image placed into our page and now we're going to go here in text to take a look at the HTML properties now what we want to do here is in order to make the image responsive in the header what we want to do is here under width right here we want to change this to 100% and then right in here we want to change this to auto but you want to take note of the images width 
because we're going to need that information later on. And for this particular image, it's 450 pixels. All right. So now that we have this information, you might want to go ahead and update that just so that you have it there ready to go. You don't lose your work. Now we want to copy and paste this here. We want to copy this and we want to go to Genesis Dynamic Custom. And right here where our hook box is, I already have it set up. And if you take a look at this image here, the way I set it up, if you click on it, it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it for the one I just created there. I just pasted in the information that we created previously. And this image will, when you click on this logo image in the header, it will go back to your home page because we set up that custom URL. Okay. Now I also have an additional bit of information here and I'll just make this code available to you on the forum for Dynamic Genesis. This area here is the site description and the area that you want to modify for your own particular needs is this right here, right here, in between this, these two arrows here. So whatever you type in here is what's going to be displayed as your site description. Okay, I'm going to save the changes. Okay, so we've got our custom hook boxes set up and we're ready to move on to the next part and that is adding our custom CSS so everything looks nice. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our page. There it is, there's our responsive logo here. Okay, so you can see the responsive logo is placed into our header here and if we go to different pages when we click on it, when we click on our logo, because we set up our custom URL previously, it takes it back to our home page, whatever home page you have set up. So now let's take a look at our custom CSS. Okay. Now, this is a CSS code that you're going to have to place into your custom CSS editor in order to display your responsive logo and be able to format your 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 site description down here okay for example as you can see here our site description is in red this is the code for red I can change it for example green now our logo has changed to green or whatever color you like obviously blue now so this bit of code here is what is controlling our site description you can make it font larger or smaller etc so I had it set up at 20 pixels and just to dis just to dis just to set it apart from the rest of the logo I'm going to put it back to red I can type in red or put in the actual numerical the alphanumerical code for red oops okay one two three four and we and as you know, we always have our, our CSS builder here on top to assist us. Now, this is important here that you place this code here. Or what happens is, without it, I'll go ahead and just cut it out. And so you can see what happens. So when you, so you see how the logo gets really big there? Well, obviously that doesn't look very nice, does it? So let's go back 
and so that's I'm just going through the different CSS here so you can see what it's actually doing here so by adding this in say changes pop in now now when that's in there our logo behaves the way we want it to it doesn't get humongous there as we change the width of the website now let's take a look at the rest of the CSS pop out I'm going to hide this panel here okay now these other two bits of code they're very important so that your responsive logo behaves properly so make sure you paste them in so what happens is this title area what happens when okay I'll remove these here control X save changes just so you can see for yourself why those are added in there okay so when we do this going to get this humongous margin here underneath your your responsive logo and your site description so in order to get rid of that okay we're going to we are going to place that CSS back in here so this bit of CSS code here is is eliminating that humongous margin under the the responsive logo and also your site description when you narrow the width of the website and this here this bit of code here is preventing your logo from becoming humongous now this is important note here this right here this value must match the logo width the width of your your logo your responsive logo image so if you put in a 500 pixel wide image then you want to type 500 px here if it's uh, 400 put 400 px this has to match the width of your logo here okay great now we've gone through what this bottom one here it's controlling your site description and that's all it is this is all the custom CSS that you need to set up in order for your responsive logo image and site description to be responsive okay a couple more notes here these margin properties here I placed in here in order this minimum 15 pixels for this top of this the top margin is is without it you'll find that there's there's a there's a large gap between the site description and the bottom of the logo and you can adjust that for your own taste or your needs and right here what this is what this is for is I'll show you it's so that when you as your the width gets narrower without that property you're gonna find that the site description just it, it's right up against the sides and it doesn't look very nice so what we're doing with that here is we're controlling the that's what this is for so that when you narrow up your site on a, the the sides of your site just so that the edges of your site description aren't right up against the, the edges of the website and the bottom margin here is just to so that we have some space here between the site description and the, the nav bar and of course you can adjust these for your own particular needs and likes okay so there you have it a nice responsive logo for your Genesis dynamic website let's take a look at that again sweet sweet it looks fantastic and it works fantastic I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's helpful to you and happy website building to you so long